Hey guys, today I'm gonna walk you through how I made this Hocus Pocus themed sign for my coffee bar. And here's what you're gonna need. Starting off in Cricut Design Space, I'm typing out Brewing Company, and this is going to be in the font forehand. You can find this for free on defont.com, and I will leave a link below. Now I'm typing out Sanderson Sisters Premium Witches Brew, and that will be in the font Aubrey. That will also be linked down below. I'm separating them by lines so that I can curve them in opposite directions. For the top, I curved it about 12.5, and then for the bottom, I wanted to curve the opposite way, so that is negative 21.7. You can find the cauldron that I used by searching Witch's Brew. There is the code. And I'm just making this really small under the Sanderson Sisters. I'm adding the year 1693 for the Salem Witch Trials. That will be in the font Garden Grown USC Caps. And arranging it around the cauldron. and Salem, Massachusetts, also in the same font, Garden Grown. Now to add my broomsticks, I just searched broom. This is the one I liked, and there's the image code. And now you just wanna angle them, duplicate it, and flip it so that it's at the same angle. And then you can group those together and add one on each side. Don't forget to weld these because if you don't, your Cricut will, will cut out each individual broomstick, but you want it to cut as one solid image. When I went to go cut mine, I realized I didn't have a big enough white piece of vinyl. So I actually had to break up the image and cut it in multiple pieces and kind of piece it back together. Um, if you have the vinyl, you can skip this step and it'll be a lot easier for you. But that's why I ended up kind of having to piece it back together on my mat later. All I'm doing here is going through with my X-Acto knife and kind of breaking things up into sections. This just makes it easier for me to weed. It kind of gives me more control so I don't have to watch every single letter and make sure that nothing's coming up that I don't want it to while focusing on the section that I'm actually working on.
this sign ended up being so perfect for this project. I've had it for years and I could just never decide what to put on it. Um, but I can't remember where I bought it. I'm pretty sure it's Michael's. Um, but just any blank sign you have, you can paint black and this will be perfect. And here's what it looks like up on my coffee bar. Absolutely love it. If you guys try this, please take a picture and tag me on Instagram. My information is down below. Thanks for watching.